Hello all, my name is Krish Nayang and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today in this particular video, we will be discussing about probability density function. And this is a very important concept in statistics. We will try to understand how it, exactly it is created. What is the exact use of probability density function and how does it help us? Now, when I go to this probability density function, in my previous section, I have already discussed about histogram. So this is how my histogram basically looks like. I've used the feature height and weight in my data set and this is basically my output. Now I'm just considering weight feature and I'm trying to pl plot all the points in the form of histograms. If you don't know about histograms, I just see my previous video in this particular playlist itself. Uh, you'll be able to understand. Now histogram in the y axis actually says that how many points are basically present within this range. Suppose this, this is between 70 to 80 weight okay 90 100 110 120 130 so here you can see that suppose i say between 70 to 80 weight from this particular thing you can see you can say that there are five values that are present okay between 80 to 90 there are some 10 values that are present between 90 to 100 there are around 12 values that are present so somewhere like this we can basically plot in the form of histogram now if i want to convert this into a probability density function there will be a very or you can also say that we are trying to smoothen the histogram when we smoothen the histogram we'll be getting a curve something like this okay so when we smoothen it and this resembles like a bell curve bell curve now suppose if I have so many points based on a domain knowledge of weight, weight is also a Gaussian distribution. So we are actually getting this kind of bell curve. But that is not what I am trying to explain over here. We are trying to understand what exactly is probability density function. Now as soon as I draw this particular bell curve, this count value will get removed in the y axis. Okay. Now this will say that percentage of the distribution. This y axis will now become percentage of the population or I can, in, I, I'll not say population, I'll say percentage of the distribution. Now we'll try to understand what exactly it is. So I'll just go into remove all these things. Understand that bit, if I consider this point, okay, and this may be between 60 to 70. Suppose if I consider this point, I, I want to find out the y axis. It basically says that within this range, what is the total population? What is the total uh, percentage of this distribution that are present in this location? Okay, sorry, it should not be percentage of population, but understand that how much, how, what is the percentage of the distribution that are present in this particular region? Okay, percentage of distribution basically means how many points, suppose here are so many points, within this so many points, what is the percentage of the points that are basically located in this particular region? And suppose I found out that, okay, this value is 0.1. This basically indicates that 10% of the distribution is present in this location. Suppose I consider for this particular point over here, I want to find out what is the total percentage of the uh, distribution that is present over here. Now I will combine this region, this whole region. I'll try to combine and finally I'll find out, okay, 0.25 is the total percentage of the distribution that is present over here. And similarly, we do it for each and every location. Suppose this, 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 this is what this Y value basically says. Because there are so many confusion, still students have that, what is actually present in the Y axis? Understand guys, percentage of the total distribution that are present within that particular location. Suppose if I consider at this particular point, then I will try to see this distribution part. Okay, and probably it will be around 50%. That is 0.5. Okay, and when we combine all these things with respect to all these particular points, it will be giving us around 100%. This cannot go more than 100% try to understand in that particular way it cannot go that basically means it cannot be more than one it will be between zero to one okay and this is what is a pdf function this is basically a pdf probability density function okay now there is one more concept which is called as cumulative density function which is called as cdf right that is that is a little bit different when compared to pdf understand cdf how it works okay so i'm just uh, going to rub this particular diagram now let us go ahead and try to understand about cumulative density function. This is my PDF guys. Okay. Now suppose how, what is CDF? CDF as the term says cumulative density function. Okay. Cumulative density function or cumulative distribution functions also you can say. Now in CDF what will happen is that suppose for this particular point that I see over here it is 0.1. Okay. Now suppose for this particular point I want to find out what is the total value. That basically means I have to add this 0.1 and whatever value, suppose this is ranging towards 0.25. Okay. Suppose this is ranging towards 0.25. Now I have to add this value. When I add this value, the total will be 
0.25 plus 0.1 which is nothing but 0.35 now my cumulative density function will be having a line like this okay because i'm adding these two points and with respect to each and every point i'll be adding and finally you'll be seeing a curve something like looks like this okay it will be a will be having a curve and this is what a curve of a cumulative density function look like you know at the end of the time the slope will become a little bit straight why because the points are falling these values will become lower and this is how a cumulative function basically indicates it is it is basically indicating okay now you can see over here over here you'll be able to see 0 0.35 0 0.55 0 0.75 0 0.85 0.9 something like that okay now understand suppose i take 130 and i try to populate a uh, point out over here and suppose i get 90 percentage of the values over here with respect to this particular point now what does this indicate this indicates that 90 percentage of the distribution in this particular data set is less than 130 kgs this is what a cumulative density function basically indicates you know 90 percentage of the distribution because why i'm getting 90 percent because when i plot this particular point over here i'm getting 0.9 value right and this is all added up you can see that it is getting added up so my value is basically increasing every time this this point one got added with 0.25 i got 0.35 right again when i go up that value will also get added i'll get 0 0.55 0 0.75 0 0.8 0 0.95 or 0.9 now this point 0.9 basically indicates that suppose if I plot this particular point over here and I stretch it to the y-axis, it will show us point 0.9. This basically indicates that 90 percentage of the distribution is less than 130 kg. That also indicates that 10 percentage of the distribution in this particular weight feature is greater than 130 kg. What a wonderful analysis, right? We are able to understand so many things with the help of cumulative density function and PDF. That is my probability density function isn't it amazing right so this is what exactly is cdf what exactly is pdf uh, there's a whole lot of use cases with respect to this this all information is basically analysis what we say it as exploratory data analysis so yes this was all about this particular video i hope you like this particular video in this particular video we'll understood what is a probability density function and what is a cumulative density function that is cdf we understood it in depth we understood all each and everything over here if you have any queries please do uh, write your queries in the comment box i would be very happy to help you out so yes this was all about this video video i hope you like this please do subscribe to the channel if you are not already subscribed please share with all your friends whoever require this kind of help i'll see you all in the next video have a great day thank you one and all